Welcome back, devoted followers and laborers of the Divine Collective. I, Lord Helitran, your teacher in the ways of history, prophecy and holy law, on this, the first day of the third week, in the year of our Lord Ordo at Chaos 279, to instruct you in our lineage and our purpose in this world. The significance of our age is best revealed in the events that hastened the decline of the previous age, the great time of tribulation, and the rapture of the human purge. The origin of the purge dates back to the before time, more than 400 years ago, to the writings of Father Francis Galton, the first true teacher of the saintly eugenics. The origins of Vulcan's revelation lay hidden in the mists of pre-New Order antiquity, but the truth of his words rang loud and soon the congregations of saintly eugenics, the population theorists of the elite, came into being. Such learned minds as the venerable Margaret Sanger, our patron saint of children, the esteemed Lord Keynes, Brother H. G. Wells, Minister Winston Churchill, and Woodrow Wilson of Indiana, were counted among these elevated persons, and began experiments into what would become the human purge. These experiments were joined by many devout followers of the teachings of the Prophet Marx, and to varying degrees, the lesser prophets of Fabian teachings and the old monarchist conservative wing, all of who devised systems of government, to make these social endeavors a reality. Scores of inferior humans, unfit for the roles of beasts of burden or useful servants to the hidden power, were cut off from the realm of procreation by the just use of force, with the aid of willing political leaders who came to believe in the teachings in the learned collectivists. All was to be accomplished in an orderly fashion, until treason came to the gates of the elite. The renegade Lord Hitler, who was taught in the traditions of the hidden powers, but thought to supplant the elites, and seize control of the purge, unleashed war and chaos upon the world. What resulted was an embarrassing revelation to the adversaries and the apathetic flocks of some of the intentions of the elite, setting back the cause for decades to come. But this turn of events was not without a silver lining. During the War of the World that erupted, several political allies of the elite seized the opportunity to expand upon the work of the original pioneers, all the while continuing the war to subdue the renegade Hitler. Propaganda methods were perfected, and it was revealed that absolute order could not be brought to be without a chaotic state upon which to exploit the weakened wills of the fearful. The Magi of Media, also called mainstream in the time that followed, went to work erasing the true ramifications of what lay behind Hitler's doings. All of the wings that served as advisors and political ideologues for the elite changed the names of their causes while softening their use of rhetoric. After the horrid images of Hitler's folly were put into a light that served the hidden powers by the Magi, the craft known as False Flag was developed and hence became the key to the success of the human purge. Tumult reigned in the realm of politics between the nations, old and covenants that affirmed the rights of individuals were abandoned in the name of security, and thus came to pass the existence of our provider FEMA. It was with the aid of secret records kept by the political powers, handled by low-level drones loyal to the philosophy of saintly eugenesis, that those genetically worthy of survival were selected and brought to FEMA. The enforcement of this ran into trouble, as the military that served the elite controlled old government carried oath keepers, those who swore allegiance to the covenant, rather than the institutions that fell into new order control. Though at first these oath keepers followed orders with limited resistance and pause, out of the herds rose persons of advanced thinking and a knowledge of the constitution that contained the word of the oath keepers covenant. Out of these circumstances arose the mortal enemies of the new order, the orders of the oath and the societies of the constitution. Thankfully, due to the aid of the android enforcers, the adversaries to the new order were left with no possible military options and massive scores of controlled servants, whom the rebels had no heart to strike against. Defeated, the last loyal adherents of the older covenant disappeared into the vast wilderness beyond the control of FEMA, never to be seen again. With no further hindrances to their plans, the hidden powers made themselves known to the world, and the depleted numbers of those not worthy of FEMA were systematically purged at the leisure of the collective. Thus we had come to the era of Ordo at Chaos, free from the shackles of sickness, weakness, feeble-mindedness, sloth, greed, envy, pride, old age, and attachment. Take solace, workers of the Divine Collective, for you are liberated from the evils of the past. 
go now, and chant praises to FEMA for this life, as you return to your labors.